Welcome to East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing Barrel Foundation Bourbon. Right on the front says, aged five years, a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys, 100 proof or 50% alcohol by volume. On the back, it says uh, blend components. Kentucky, eight years old. Uh, Indiana, five, six, and nine years old. Tennessee, eight years old. And then Maryland, five and six years old. Uh, it says derived Mashville, corn 73%, rye 23%, and malted barley 4%. Right on the back, it says distilled in Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, and Maryland, USA. Barrel craft spirits, blends and bottles, leading spirits that elevate barrels of whiskey into something greater than the sum of their parts. Barrel foundation exhibits all the richness, complexity, and quality that one finds in a barrel craft, beer, uh, craft spirit bourbon. This is a classic bourbon that can be enjoyed neat, over ice, or in a cocktail, blended to never blend in, bottled by Barrel Craft Spirits, Louisville, Kentucky. And if you want to check them out, you go to barrelbourbon.com. Uh, yeah, so I picked this up today for 50 bucks. I believe this MSRP is $55, so I believe we got a deal on that. Uh, yeah, I believe this is uh, Barrel's first non-barrel proof release. Um, so this is like their kind of uh, entry-level bottle, I guess you could say. Uh, usually their stuff's like right around $80 to $100, which is kind of skeptical and hesitant uh, on buying something for $80 to $100. So this is a nice way to try out something from them that's uh, $50. Heard some good stuff about it. Without further ado, let's uh, crack this up and pour it up. Check out the appearance. All right, nice cork pop. We got a real cork too. I will say, I do like the aesthetics of the bottle. I will say it's a very nice, kind of simple label, but it looks really nice. So I pour it up. Okay. Nice color, amber appearance. Get some nice alcohol legs there. Yeah, looks good. Nice alcohol legs, some nice color. So I believe the oldest uh, whiskey they got there is some nine-year-old, and that's from Indiana, so I'm believing that's probably MGP. Uh, yeah, looks really good. Nose. Okay, I get a lot of uh, honey and spice. Get a lot of um, raisin, actually. A lot of like dark dried fruits. Caramel. That oak is coming through. A little bit of the ethanol. Not too punchy on the nose though. Yeah, I get a lot of, I get a lot of the spice and the oak. And that raisin. Very prominent. Dried fruit on the nose. A touch of vanilla. Did I say vanilla? Yeah, definitely some vanilla in there for sure. It's got a really nice uh, sweet nose. There comes that honey again. So uh, yeah, it smells pretty good. It's got some nice complexity for 100 proof. Let's try it out, cheers. Oh wow, that's uh, pretty velvety for 50%. You'd actually expect it to be a little bit higher if I handed you this blind. It's a really nice, rich mouthfeel. Very uh, sweet up front. Get a little bit of like apple. Some stone fruits in there, like peach. Sweetness lingers. You get a nice uh, amount of the spice and oak on the finish as well. There's a nice touch of oak though. I definitely would say it's more spice forward. The spice lingers for a good amount of time too, so if you want a nice decent finish, this has got it for sure. Starting to envelop to a little bit more honey-like sweetness. Caramel. I really don't get any like um, type of like grain component. So there's really no like uh, corn 
There's no like corn flavor. I do get a lot of the rye though. I do get a lot of that like rye spice on the back end. Um, oak is becoming a little bit more prominent after sipping on it a little bit longer. Heat is building. Definitely uh, get a little bit of heat. It is kind of warm with the soft box uh, shining down on me. Today is uh, raining and like 85 degrees out, so. Not the nicest day, but a good day to sit inside and drink some whiskey, I will say. Yeah, this is pretty solid. I mean, for 50 bucks, you could tell that it was blended, it was crafted. Um, nothing's really steamrolling over each other. The sweetness is really nice up front, and then you get that lingering spice. The mouth feels great. For 50 bucks, you really get a nice mouthfeel. You're getting a really solid product. You can tell um, that you're getting your money's worth with that with that mouthfeel and that richness. There's a touch of nuttiness in there. Kind of more towards the uh, the middle or mid palate, I should say. Getting that dried fruit again. Lots of raisin. This is nice. You could sit here and sip on this for a while. I feel like this is gonna open up even more. I mean, this is the first crack. This is uh, first pour from the bottle. So I can see this aerating and uh, open up a little bit more. I like it for the money. I think it's worth it. It makes me want to uh, possibly purchase some of the other stuff by these guys. I've heard a lot of good things about Barrel. Um, never really gave them a shot though, like I said, because a lot of their stuff is 80 to $100. And I don't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, whoever's blending this did a really good job. You can tell that there's definitely some craftsmanship to this product for sure. Yeah, definitely a good one to add to the collection. And it would probably work well in a cocktail. Um, that spicy finish isn't too much, but I can see it standing out and uh, working really well in a, in a cocktail. I like this neat perfectly fine super easy to drink there's really no um like i get the heat from the spice but i'm not really getting much of that like kentucky hug kind of warming in the chest i do i have been drinking uh some water i do have some water on the side but yeah it's very easy to sip it's very drinkable i like this as far as a number i would say that this deserves right around like that 85 to 90 range i'm gonna go with 85 right now b plus for sure uh maybe somebody in the whiskey community would want to do a um examination on this that would be cool if uh some other guys want to get a bottle of this and we can talk about it together i would totally uh be down to um do an examination on this product for sure and uh yeah i'm gonna recommend it and uh i'd like to try some of the other stuff by these guys and yeah there you have it if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel make sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like subscribe my upcoming videos look at here thanks for watching guys cheers